We're back with a bonus conversation you'll only see here on CBS News New York. So, your father owned a deli where I've read that you worked. Yes. Does that mean that you know your way around the kitchen? The kitchen, not so well. The a deli, yes. Well, do you have a signature dish? Uh, in a deli, what I eat? Uh, no, when you like in your kitchen, do you no, cook? I'm pretty, I'm, I, don't, I don't really cook. I'm just pretty simple. I have like chicken cutlets is like a uh, go to. I have long days. I don't eat at most of the dinners that I attend politically. I'll come home and have a bowl of uh, cereal, and my wife will always be like, why didn't you eat? And I say it's just very tough when you're talking to people to engage. So despite the fact I'm at a dinner every night, I end up with a bowl of cornflakes every single night the same way. So do you ever like bring her breakfast in bed or do anything like that? I mean, my, you know my, how you know food. No, no, I'm I, I I know a deli, which is very very different than um, uh, breakfast in bed or being a great chef. So, so if you're going to make a deli sandwich, what would your favorite? It would probably be you know uh, honey turkey, fresh mutt, sun dried tomatoes, oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper. Sounds good. It's good. So, what's your biggest distraction? Distraction in uh, a positive way. I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and one on the way. <laughs> so, it's a lot going on in my house. And uh, the good thing about my current job is it allows me a lot of flexibility as far as time goes to see them. But I, I would say that all other hobbies have gone by the wayside. So, um, I used to play the piano a lot. I still do some. Um, avid runner. I used to do a lot of triathlons. Uh, less of that today, but distraction is four, two, and, and one on the way. So you've worked in finance, yeah. you've served your country, yes. and you've been elected to public office. But what did you want to be when you were a little kid? Um, what did I want to be when I, when I was a little kid? I mean, I, I would say that when I was very, very little, like everybody else, I thought I'd be like a police officer, was where I was gravitated towards. Um, and, uh, and then slowly ended up in finance and then the military. But I always had an appreciation for like armed forces and paramilitary type of operations. That's why I like the police force, I guess. So um, I know you, you said you've competed. You've competed in the Ironman yeah. race. Yeah. You've been biking, running, swimming. Why do you do it and where do you find the time for it? I think that, so the Ironman was the New York championship. So it's a 140 mile race. Um, it's, uh, where do I find the time? I, I actually find that the running is the most therapeutic thing that I do. It's an opportunity to not have my phone and have a clear mind and like the best ideas come when I'm actually running. So um, early morning before the kids get up, I try to run every day, three, four do miles. Do you listen to music when you run? No, no. So you just think? Just think, just myself. Even the, the Ironman is like a race that you're not allowed to have earphones. So it's like, we, I finished in a little bit less than 12 hours, uh, and it's it's all in your own head. I think that's part of like the mental component of toughness. So, are you thinking about like what am I going to do when I get to I'm, the office? I'm thinking about work and things I need to be doing for the city or the gubernatorial race or my family. It's always one of those three things. That's it. It's like pretty much like very very clear that those are the three things that I'm focused on. So. Although you are running for governor, you yeah. still are the mayor of Jersey yeah. City. So what are three must-do things in Jersey City? Yeah, I think three must things. Uh, continue on the progress that we're doing for crime reduction and taxes. Um, I would like to see us uh, finish some of the development in Journal Square. That's number two. And we're building an expanded science campus, 18-acre campus, uh, on the south side of Jersey City. And I would like to see that with a high school and some other facilities, I'd like to see that done as well. Last question. Yeah. Why do you want to be governor? Look, I, I four-year-old, two-year-old, and uh, one on the way, and I have some concerns about the direction of the state. There's no hedge for me. I'm not running for office again other than governor. It's uh, do or die on this, and I think I can do a great job in changing the state like we changed Jersey City. Has Phil Murphy been a good governor? Yeah, Phil Murphy has done some great things. I think there's some things that obviously need to be improved, and I'm pretty vocal about that. Transportation is one of them. Um, but, you know, the reality is I think that he was dealt a very tough hand with regards to coming after Chris Christie and then also kind of COVID in the middle of his term. But I think he's done a good job in stabilizing the state. I think it would be hard to criticize him specifically on that. Well, now you're going to have to come back once the, the gubernatorial, gubernatorial race heats up and talk about the race. I'd love to. Thank you love so to. much. Thank and you. thank you at home for joining me as well. Thanks.